Hey there jazz lovers, ever found yourself lost in the deep soulful tones of John Coltrane's iconic album Crescent? Well today, we are diving deep comparing my original stereo 1964 release with the Acoustic Sounds Impulse series reissue. If you're as excited as I am, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. 1964. Close your eyes and picture it. The world was alive, buzzing, jazz. It wasn't just background music. It was the soul of the streets, the rhythm of rebellion, and right at the heart of it all was Crescent. More than just an album, it was the anthem of its time, capturing the essence of a generation. With every note, Coltrane told a story, and we were all listening. Picture this, two vinyl records. The first, worn and rich with memories, each scratch a story from a time gone by. Then, there's the second, gleaming and new, capturing the same soulful tunes but with a freshness that's invigorating. That's the beauty of Crescent, a timeless classic, once echoing the past, now singing for today. The original Crescent? It's like your favorite old sweater, worn but full of memories. It wraps you in nostalgia every time. But the acoustic sounds reissue? Imagine reuniting with an old friend. You know them, yet there's something new, a fresh layer to uncover. It's the same soulful tune, just with a different beat. Alright, let's dive into the music and the title track, Crescent. Now, if you've had the chance to experience both the original and the acoustic sounds reissue, you'll notice some striking differences. The reissue brings out the intricacies of each instrument with remarkable clarity. For instance, John Coltrane's tenor coming directly out of the left speaker on the reissue's title track feels fuller, richer, where the original gave us a glimpse of his genius. The reissue immerses us in it, letting us hear layers of sound we might have missed before. Elvin Jones' drum kit on the reissue feels more alive than ever. There's a pronounced power in his bass drum, each beat resonating with depth. His cymbals, previously a bit subdued in the original, now shimmer with a broader range, capturing every nuance of his technique. Then there's Jimmy Garrison's bass. On the reissue, it's not just about the rhythm, it's about texture. Every pluck, every slide, has more definition, making me feel as if Garrison is right here in my basement playing in front of me. Together, these enhancements transform Crescent from a classic track to an acoustic experience. It's a testament to the magic that modern technology can bring to timeless music. The track, Wise One, is undeniably a gem in Coltrane's illustrious collection, shimmering with a haunting beauty that captivates from the first note. As Train Sax takes the lead, it doesn't merely play. It speaks, weaving a narrative filled with ancient tales and emotions, almost as if it's channeling whispers from a bygone era. Jones, with his masterful drumming, doesn't just keep time. He sets the very pulse of the track, creating a rhythmic heartbeat that brings the piece to life. And Garrison's bass, meanwhile, is the steadfast foundation, grounding the melody and providing a depth that resonates with every pluck. And then there's McCoy Tyner, with piano notes that drift like otherworldly whispers, adding depth and evoking a sense of wonder. Together, this quartet doesn't just create music, they invite listeners on a profound introspective journey, crafting a soundscape that lingers in the heart and resonates deep within the very essence of the soul. 1964, a year when the world grew to fresh beats and voices of change. Amidst this vibrant backdrop, Crescent emerged. More than just an album, it echoed the dreams and battles of its era, capturing the heartbeat of a generation in flux. While I deeply cherish my original copy of Crescent, the acoustic sounds reissue has become my go-to. The sheer quietness of the vinyl, coupled with the intricate details of the instruments that come alive on my turntable, makes it an unparalleled listening experience. So what's your Crescent memory? First time you heard it? Or the hundredth time? Drop me a comment below. Let's share. Let's connect. Now that's our journey for today. If Crescent touched your soul, please tap that like button, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to my channel. Spread the word. And remember, in the world of jazz, every note is a story. Till next time, let the music play. Bye for now.